Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel. My YouTube channel name is Sylvia and Quarry Bichanga. So if you haven't yet and you enjoy my videos, don't forget to go and subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get reminded whenever I post a new video. Today actually, I am going to be teaching you guys about a new recipe that I just did and I loved it. So here in Kenya, I have not been able to find pretzels like the snack pretzels, not the pretzels that I used to make. There's a difference, people. So we have soft pretzels, and then we have snacking pretzels. So the soft pretzels would be more like a mandazi, bread, like that consistency but the snacking pretzels are really crunchy and hard. They only take a few simple ingredients that you probably have sitting around in your own home. All you need is an oven to bake them. So today, I wanna share the recipe that I found that I was actually able to make my own pretzels. So I'm sure they might be in places like maybe Nairobi and those places, but here in Kisumu, we don't have this snack pretzel that I so much miss from back at home. Talking about pretzels, I know so many of my African friends have asked me for the recipe of the street food that I used to sell. One of them was pretzels. So one of my next videos, I'm going to be sharing with you guys that recipe so that you guys can make them for yourself and sell them on the street too if you want to. Let's get right into making these snack pretzels and you'll just have to wait for the original pretzel recipe that I was selling on the streets. Let's get into the snack pretzels recipe. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this baking soda, just the normal um, baking soda, and we're gonna put um, a half a cup on a tin foil inside a tray, and this we're gonna bake for one hour um, at 350. So while the half cup of baking soda is baking in the oven for an hour, we're gonna go ahead and mix up our dough so you take three cups of flour, and then you add one teaspoon of instant yeast, two teaspoons of sugar, a half teaspoon of salt. So now that we have these four simple ingredients in here, we're just gonna go ahead and mix them all together. and it asks for one cup of warm to hot water. So here I have this, so we're just gonna add half of it and stir, and then we're gonna add the other half. So now that we have this shaggy looking dough like this, we're just gonna flour the surface here a little bit and bring it out on the countertop and we're gonna mix it for five minutes. So you just keep mixing and adding a little bit of flour until it's no longer sticking to the countertop or to your hands. Um, and the dough is kind of glossy and smooth. All right, so this is how your dough should look, um, nice and smooth and not sticking to your hands. So now we're just gonna take the same bowl that we had mixed it in and put a little bit of oil in it. And then we're gonna put the dough in there and let that rest for one hour. And cover this container up like this and you could put it in the oven on like a really low heat setting or um, if you're in a warm climate, 
you can just let it sit somewhere warm. For one hour, we're gonna let this dough rest. So while the dough is resting, we are going to make the poaching liquid. The poaching liquid is where we dip the pretzels in before we bake them. So I'm putting four cups of water in this container. So now we're gonna take this half cup of baking soda that has been baking for an hour, and we're gonna dump it into the water. And we're gonna go ahead and add one fourth cup of brown sugar to this mixture. So once this water, baking soda, and sugar mixture starts to simmer, um, we're gonna dip the pretzels in there before we bake them. All right, so here is our dough resting, and here I'm making the topping. It's one egg and one tablespoon of water. You mix it together. Here's the salt, and here's the poaching liquid that we're gonna turn on um, once we have all of these guys out and into the pretzel shapes. So now that the dough is rested, um, we're just going to take it out on the countertop here and divide it into pieces to roll, roll them into the pretzel. Okay, so I wrapped my um, oven tray in this tin foil. Um, so I'm just gonna roll the pretzels out and put them on this tray. So you take your first pretzel, and sometimes I have to divide the dough down even more than what it is. Um, so we'll see how these dough balls do. So just like that, and then we put it over here on the tray. So I actually forgot, but you have to oil the tin foil first. So I oiled this half, so I'm just gonna move these over to this other side. So now that we've rolled them all into the shape that they need to be, we are going to cover them with a clean cotton cloth and let them sit for another 30 minutes. So you're gonna take um, these and you see this is the soda, sugar, water that we have going on here. It should be bubbling a little bit like this, just simmering. And then you just put these in here for about 15 seconds. And when they come up to the top, floating to the top, that's when you know that they're ready to get out. So you just bring them right back out on the tray and stretch them out like that. Sometimes they break, um, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, so now that we've run them all through this soda, baked soda water, um, I have the eggs here with a little bit of water and I beat them up and we're just gonna brush a generous amount on top of these pretzels.
All right, so here they are in the oven. And as you can see over here, I have it set for about 325. Um, if you don't have numbers on your stove, then I would go for a medium heat. And then here we're just going to turn it all the way over to 60 minutes. But usually it takes more like 40 minutes. Um, so we're just going to bake these until they're brown and completely hard. You don't want them to be soft in the center. So you want to make sure they're really hard. So before I end this video, I wanted to add a YouTube channel that I came across randomly um, on my own. It's called Mackenzie in Kenya. And I know you guys would love her channel. Um, they're living here in Kenya. Also a cross-cultural marriage and they have children and a farm with animals and just just an amazing life. They are where I would dream of being in like 20 years from now, being able to come back with my family and having a life here in Kenya. So I wanted to give her channel a shout out and tell you guys to go on over there and subscribe to her. I know you guys are going to love her videos and it'll give you more of a look of what Kenya is all about. So guys, here are the pretzels. I just got these out of the oven and here are some that I had done last night actually. So as you can see, I just break them up into little pieces um, and yeah, they're a really fun snack. To have on hand and they're super easy to make. Alright guys, that wraps up my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you are one of those people in another country somewhere where they don't have pretzels, snacking pretzels, I really hope that this helps you out and that you make it too. So thank you very much for watching today's video and I will catch you guys next week, bye.